So good afternoon. Uh, hi, myself Bhavin Patel from Industrial Outlook. This is the fourth day at Telegrama uh, 23, and we are seeing a good response throughout the event, and everyone is appreciating uh, after COVID that that scenario has to happen, and uh, the engaging the business uh, meetings and the old collaborators as well as the clients into this scenario. So, uh, Mr. Ramne ji, uh, you are from the uh, Module Tech Ready Panels Private Limited, right? That's right. So, uh, the panels, I think uh, there are multiple modules available into the Indian panel industry. And while the CPRI tested or uh, the conventional panels were in the fabrications business done into design format, and you have changed the entire industry for the modular panels, right? As the name said, Module Tech. So, how have you come across the idea of uh, doing the modular panels for to uh, combine the multiple switch gears and all. Okay, thank you for asking me that question. Uh, I started uh, business in the year 1990 and uh, like most panel builders, I started in a thousand square feet shed with conventional uh, hand sharing and fly press kind of a basic equipment and that's how the journey started. So. There was a lot of ups and downs in the business. Sometimes when we were overloaded, we had to refuse orders. And when we were underloaded, I would sit to the telephone directory and uh, keep calling all my customers. What really hurt me was my refusing orders when I was overloaded. And I was thinking, is there a better way to do switchboards? So 1996, I got an opportunity to go to Singapore, where uh, I visited about 18 panel building units in about a week's time. And that's where I came to know that even in Singapore, you have conventional panel building, then you have the semi-modular panel building. But what really stole my heart was a completely world-class modular technology. It was a Danish technology which I pursued and uh, went to several countries thereafter, got onto the drawing board, and in the year 2000, we released the modular uh, technology in our own uh, switchboard business. The day we introduced the modular technology, we dropped the welded technology like a hot brick, wow. right? And uh, one of the very good feedbacks I got from the shop floor was that, sir, my health has improved after we have moved from welded technology to modular, modular. technology. It's a totally greener technology. You avoid welding almost to the extent of 95%. And uh, that makes a big difference. What it really did was it helped me to scale my business it helped me to take on these ups and downs in the sales order position. And that is, uh, you know, the biggest uh, deliverable what I see from a switchboard manufacturer's point of view. And the whole process gets very simplified, which was quite cumbersome earlier. So that's fantastic. And I think the uh, later on, like the 2000, wherein the uh, none of the multinational companies were also into in introduction of the modular panels. You were the first to introduce uh, the modular panels into India, I guess. Yes, uh, I was. And that is thanks to the inspiration I got from the world around. When I realized that, yes, there is something which is a better way to do it. And uh, that definitely got me a lot of recognition. Definitely, you know, uh, I, had, I was able to attract uh, a panel builder from Doha, Qatar, who came to me in 2013. And he asked me, can, I, can you do... A, the IEC 61439 type test certification for me with Siemens switchgear and Modutech enclosures. So I said, why not? And that is when, that was my first brush with uh, IEC 61439. So you see, when you do what is the latest technology, you also are able to attract the best in the world. And then, you know, step by step, step by step. Today we have six makes of uh, switchgear for which uh, we have the IEC 61439 type testing done. That's great. So, so typically speaking, uh, the six makes, uh, unfortunately, and uh, almost one of them is not in India at present scenario. Like Alice is not so much. Very much in India. Yeah. So it is just the entrant, we can say. Yes. Right. So apart of that, the many Indian companies, which is not into the list. So what are your future plans to enter into that with the uh, IEC 61439 with that company? Uh, okay, so before I get there, let me clarify that uh, LS has been in India for more than a decade now. And uh, initially they were in, in terms of uh, white labeling. Now they have started on their own. They've got a big stall in uh, hall number three, which uh, I would encourage you to go and have a look at. 
right? LS has uh, particularly liked our products quite a bit. We are uh, we we have a big relationship going forward with them as much as we have with other uh, switchgear manufacturers as well. So there are many more switchgear manufacturers who are approaching us uh, as far as uh, can you get the IEC 61439 type testing done with us. And this, for, for IEC 61439, we have a vertical in our company which is focused on uh, getting this kind of type testing done. So we are very happy to take up these kind of projects and that is that would give us entry into the market in multi-pronged manner. And the philosophy of our company as what is here is the simplifying panel building. So the more panel builders we are able to reach out this technology and help them to simplify panel building, that is what will give us our happiness. So uh, in fact now uh, the technology has already moved and the multinational major companies are also promoting this. And apart of this, uh, government is also accepting uh, this technology. So all the government infrastructure projects, uh, not the metro, because metro technology has been adapted from somewhere. But the utility buildings of the government is also now adapting this kind of technologies. So it is a uh, change uh, that you have initiated uh, the long back. Is now the people are more aware about the safety norms and the standards and adapting the standards uh, based on the requirement. So it is very good for the industry. What do you see the uh, future of this industry? Because the entire industry is now moving towards uh, Industry 4.0 or the IoT. The panel enclosure uh, itself is a huge uh, thing and there are a lot of safety features has to be integrated. Have we done anything uh, or willing to uh, do anything towards the enclosure safety feature readiness towards the IoT uh, Industry 4.0? Absolutely. I mean, uh, it's not just safety, it's also sustainability. And, uh, you know, there was, during the inauguration of uh, Elekrama, Mr. Satish Bhai, the managing director of Hindalco, he gave a very powerful speech in which he said that the earlier days, people used to manufacture a product so that it can be well maintained. Today, the trend is that that alone is not enough. We need to make products which can also be recycled. So when you look at recycling it, there's no way a welded panel will uh, meet that benchmark. So you have to get into modular and we ourselves have the experience of having had to take back uh, almost about 8 to 10 panels from a particular site because the builder who bought those panels from us uh, went into some financial uh, the point is more than 80-90% of those enclosures we were able to reuse and that is something fantastic, point number one. Point number two is that the kind of speed with which we are able to make a modular panel, no welded panel will be able to match that speed. And today with uh, electricity generation increasing and you know India has now gone from a power deficit country to a power positive country, surplus country. And the kind of demand for electricity is also going to go up in leaps and bounds. Electrical distribution can't wait. And we need to make it safe, reliable and convenient. And all this, you have to move your technology forward into the modular sphere. Not only uh, will do safe, reliable and uh, convenient, uh, but also the faster. Right, Absolutely. and then this will uh, help. Into due to COVID, there are many incidents happen that the manpower concerns areas with every industry had happened, and majority the where the labor demand is more, that industry suffers a lot, right? And I think this will solve the majority of uh, the concern areas for the labor, that in the less manpower required and with the faster assembly time, that can happen. So if you can share us the example, conventional panel, to and modular panel, what would be the approximate assembly time uh, frame? in percentage gap can be around. Talking of COVID and talking of being faster, let me share a story with you. During COVID, uh, in uh, Pune, there is the Serum Institute. And the whole country was dependent on Serum Institute for your uh, vaccines. And as luck would have it, the panel, build, panel board in Serum Institute Pune caught fire. And, uh, you know, everybody were on, at their uh, seat's edge, not knowing how to get this power back in place. So that is where uh, the panel builder who took the order from them reached out to us. 
believe it or not the day he reached out to us and shared the ga drawing with us the frame bars and cross bars you know the ones which uh, make the skeleton of the panel we were able to dispatch it to him the same night oh <laughs> within the next one or two days he was able to make the entire assembly get the uh, switch gears inside put the bus bars finish the power wiring seventh day our doors reached his factory tenth day the panel was uh, in uh, serum institute and the uh, you know the the existing panel was removed and this replaced it and vaccines were available back for the country right so this is the advantage and uh, so it's not just faster but it's also smarter and it's greener absolutely yes because it's a recyclable so it is much more viable than the other thing because the to scrap it other we need to do it the, all the powder coating again and again into this case the only doors or cover has to change the rest of things will remain same so that is fantastic so what do you see for see into the india it is widely accepted now uh, but there are many countries wherein this is again a dream for them uh, to use it so what is the future potential not in terms of india but the uh, overall world for this kind of i think uh, there is uh, you know when we talk in terms of faster we have to look at seeing how we can take it even more faster even more faster and when you're talking about even more faster you're also talking in terms of even more accurate even more zero defect so when you focus on all those aspects the most important aspect to be looked into is software and i'm happy to announce that you know we are demonstrating the modsim software in this stall and you just got to answer a few questions as a panel builder you'll get a three dimensional uh, panel uh, on the screen you can adjust whatever you want to adjust confirm that this is what you want and then on a press of a button it takes you to an excel sheet where you have the entire catalog numbers of the mechanical bill of material with the product description quantity rate each and amount so there is a lot of transparency in the pricing lot of clarity as far as what is the bill of material required and you don't have to scratch your head in terms of oh i forgot to send this uh, yeah. partition i forgot to send that cross bar that doesn't happen so that is when you can scale your business so i think uh, this software we are looking at seeing how to take it into three more stages the second stage uh, which is ready again is all the catalog numbers you put it into another software which we have it will give you the entire development drawings which needs to get manufactured so this is this will go for all our panel partners licensed panel partners the third phase we are looking at is to do the bus bar development as well as the component layout inside the panel that should also come out in 3d and the fourth phase will be integrating the mechanical with the electrical which means that you estimate not just the mechanical aspect but you also have the electrical so which means we'll have all the data of schneider electric abb siemens lnt uh, ls mitsubishi everyone's uh, detail will be available so that for the panel builder it will be a one stop shop where he goes and gets his mechanical and uh, electrical bill of material as well as costing very clear so if once the clarity is there then the speed is automatic absolutely so that would be uh, even more uh, faster as you said and more greener because the manpower for the design a small uh, device takes a huge lot of time based on his experiences they may have the problem of selection as you said uh, and they forget to order something and then later on the uh, deliveries or the uh, that affect into the entire market so not only the sustainability definitely the fast sustainability can happen with the more greener support and the people will have a time uh, to look at the more research and development so thank you very much for your key insights into the panel definitely this will be going on a bigger way uh, for the and leading india towards the uh, tech uh, savvy nation uh, which is not there at present scenario it's not there as much as one would want it but it's we are on our way and yes, it will happen absolutely so the leading on the way to technology thanks to you uh, and the immotech thank you very much thank you thank you